So I want to talk about creatine. So even though creatine is not described as an essential nutrient, it is described as conditionally indispensable, meaning that one of the things, nutrients you need to make creatine in your body is tryptophan, which is as essential amino acids. So if you don't have sufficient tryptophan, you cannot make creatine in the body. And so I just want to go down the pathway of making creatine in the body. It's just like so incredible um, what our body does and these pathways and how complicated they are and but they're, they're simple if you have all the ingredients. So creatine is made from L-arginine and L-glycine. And then it then turns into GAA, which is a metabolite of creatine and methionine. But the caveat is if you do not have sufficient B12 and folic acid, L-arginine and glycine cannot turn, turn into GAA or methionine. So that's the first thing you have to make sure you have sufficient B12 and folic acid. Then after that happens, you um, after GAA, and methionine are made, then you have SAM, which is, you know, a lot of people will notice that is it's like SAM-E, SAM-E, it's, it's a form of L-methionine. And then after you have SAM, SAM in your, it converts to SAM, then it, then we have L-tryptophan. Again, like I said, it's a essential amino acid. You also need to have a good amount of vitamin B3 to also have tryptophan. So, but there's also some other nutrients you need from SAM, S-A-M, to tryptophan. And that is B2, serine, vitamin E, choline, B12, histidine, and B3, like I said. And then you get to tryptophan, and hopefully you have a good amount of tryptophan in your body, and then your body makes creatine. So it's a lot, but it, I love it because if you think about it, all of these, this whole pathway takes nanoseconds and seconds to happen. So, um, yeah, I just, creatine is one of my favorite, favorite supplements. I've been taking it pretty much since it came out as a supplement in like 92. And um, I've been doing, I do um, about five grams per, that's my serving, I've never done loading phases. I just like doing the small doses of creatine. And now studies show that small doses of creatine throughout the day are actually optimal for um, sustaining your creatine storage. So um, I hope this was as fun as it was for me, like talking about this. So I'll see you again. All right, bye for now.